Hi there! I am very excited to explore and learn English with all of you. I am Teacher G. Join me on this fun journey of learning English in Lingo Bingo Thursdays of Teacher Vibal. Before we move on to our English class today, I would like to invite you to join us in a magical learning experience at home. Enroll in Vibal's Happy Homeschool program. Visit happyhomeschool.ph to register and check out Happy Homeschool packages. Check out Happy Homeschool standalone courses in English and in writing and communication. Just look for the details in the description. Before we proceed, we will be answering these three questions. First, what are the different text structures? Second, how do we identify the different text structures? And third, why do we need to know the different text structures? Are you ready to learn? Let's go! How can you identify a text type according to its structure? Primarily, each text has its own structure. The content or information in the text is organized in a particular way. We need to be aware of the different text structures to quickly identify the main idea and its supporting details. In this way, it will be easier for us, readers, to understand the text we are reading. There are different text structures, but the five most common structures are description, sequence, cause and effect, compare and contrast, and problem and solution. Today, we will only be focusing on problem solution text and the description text. First, let's be acquainted with the problem solution text. Let us read our sample text. Can you tell me how the main idea is related to other smaller ideas or details? Nature has solved the problem of keeping the whale warm. The whales develop a thick layer of fat called blubber between the skin and the flesh. Fat makes a very warm blanket. Whales that live in the cold Arctic seas have very thick blubber. Now, let's analyze the text. What do you think is the main idea? What are the suggested solutions to the problem? How did you know? The problem solution text type follows this simple structure. First, the author identifies a problem, then provides details of a solution to this problem. At this point, we will now encounter a description text. A description text aims to create a vivid picture of a person, a thing, or a place. We can achieve this kind of description by using describing words that appeal to one or more of our senses. This can either be our sense of sight, sound, taste, smell, and touch. Let us read the paragraph. What are some details that help you see how the cougar moves? Nudge awake by the July morning sun, the young cougar opened its jaws in a teeth-bearing yawn and stretched its muscular forelegs. Then it started down the mountainside, crossed a narrow highway, and loped toward the wide rushing river. For days, the cougar had been edging closer to the small lumber village of the Hillock on the Fraser River, on the edge of the mountains of southern British Columbia, Canada. Now, after drinking the cold river water, the cougar bedded down again in a nest of tall grass. Can you pinpoint some words that appeal to our senses? Note that the sensory details in the description help us give an overall impression of the described topic. For our activity today, I want you to get a book, magazine, or any reading material. Find a text that has a problem solution structure and a text with a descriptive structure. Observe what words are used and how sentences are arranged. Next time, 
will learn more about the other text structures. This skill is very helpful for you because students are often asked to identify text structures or patterns of organizations on reading tests and entrance examinations. Understanding text structures can also help you construct and interpret arguments correctly. I had fun learning with you, but I have to say goodbye for now. I hope that you'll join me again on our next adventure. And oh, don't forget to share this video and bring your friends with you next time, okay? Once again, join us in a magical learning experience at home. Enroll in Viva's Happy Homeschool program now. Just go to happyhomeschool.ph. Visit happyhomeschool.ph to register and check out Happy Homeschool packages. Check out Happy Homeschool standalone courses in English and in writing and communication. Just look for the details in the description. Still, this is Teacher G. See you on our next Lingo Bingo Thursdays for more fun and exciting exploration of the English language. Like this video, subscribe to Vibal TV on YouTube, and turn on the notification bell to hear more from me and other teachers at Teacher Vibal soon.